The Lord is your liberty. Devil's desire is your captivity, but God has prepared His will to set you free out of shackles. I'm empowered by the spirit of immortality. I'm empowered by the spirit of immortality. No place for immorality. Purity is my reality. Tiritanity. I'm empowered by the spirit of immortality. I'm empowered by the spirit of immortality. No place for immorality. Purity is my reality. Till eternity. Hallelujah. Wow. You are welcome to another edition of Out of Shackles. My name is Israel Adebi. Before we move on, Let's say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Once again, we are at your feet. Teach us your word. Let your word and the Spirit come upon us. And let every chain of immorality be destroyed by this word in the name of Jesus. Empower your word to bless life. The glory be to your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Today, we want to talk about it is a spirit. It may sound funny, but it is not funny at all. It is real. You see, when we look at the physical aspect of addiction alone, and we fail to consider the spiritual aspect, our deliverance may not be perfect. Healing may not be perfect. Freedom and liberty may not be perfect. Because we live in a spiritual world. There's nothing a man does that doesn't have the backing of one spirit or the other. It may be that you didn't start with the spirit. But as you move on, as you go along that same path, a spirit will come that will start influencing that thing you started. So today we want to look at a spirit. It is a spirit. People have talked about indiscipline. I have talked about the places, I've talked about pictures, I've talked about people, I've talked about pressures of life as a cause of all this. But it will not be complete if we don't talk about the activities of some spirit in the scripture and the effects of their activities. Then you will be able to check your own life and ask yourself, show no matter. Because that addiction is no, is no longer normal. I'm telling you, that smoking addiction is no longer normal. Spirit is involved. That addiction to sexual immorality is no longer normal. Spirit is not involved. That addiction to drunkenness is no longer normal. There's a spirit behind it. If you look within yourself, you see that there's something pushing you. There's a force. There's a power behind it. And that power will break today in the name of Jesus Christ. Now we we'll look at some spirits identified in the scriptures. The first spirit we will talk about is lying spirit. So lying is not normal. There is a spirit behind lying. First King chapter 22 verse 22 downward talked about a meeting that happened in heaven. When God wanted to judge Ahab. And different spirits were gathered together. And God was asking them questions. How will you do it? How will you make my plan possible? And each of these spirits were saying what they were capable of doing. But a spirit came up and said, I will go. And God asked, how will you? He said, I will become a spirit of lie. A lying spirit in the mouth of all the prophets. So if you are addicted to lie, if you are a liar, you have to go for deliverance. Apart from putting the flesh to the cross, you also have to go for deliverance because there is a spirit behind it. That is why you don't think twice before you lie. That is why it's like a walking lie. Lie comes at any time, at any angle. 
You always have something to say. So I'm pointing out to you today that there's a spirit behind it. And actually the spirit succeeded. It entered into the mouth of all the prophets, Holy Spirit. All the prophets. So the lying spirit is not, is not afraid of your status. He's not afraid of the name you bear. And all the prophets were speaking, they were prophesying lie. That is one of the activities of the spirit. Number two, we talk about unclean spirit. Now, this unclean spirit, they work out corruption in the life of a man. If a man is sexually immoral, check your life. The spirit that is in activities, that is working your life, is unclean spirit. Unclean spirit also facilitates all kind of depression, all kind of sickness and infirmities. So that's why some sickness are not ordinary. You have to stand up and pray against them and rebuke the spirit behind them. Immorality is not normal. There's a spirit behind it. And as we will talk about the spirit of war done. This is the spirit that makes men to leave God and run after idols. This spirit sponsors idolatry. Yes, it sponsors idolatry. It makes people to rebel against God. We can see that in the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 12. And we can also see it in chapter in 5 14. Then we also have the spirit of the air. This one influences a man against God. The Bible says the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. If you are a child of God and you find the things of God difficult to do, you are always at Lord God head with every of God's instruction. You are always disobeying the instructions of God. You are always against the will of God, whether the general will of God that we see in the scripture or a private will it speaks to you. Then you should know that there is a spirit behind it. Praise God. But every spirit that has put your life in bounds, the Lord will set you free today in the name of Jesus Christ. Then we have the Holy Spirit. Oh, the spirit of liberty. The spirit of God. How sweet it is to have the Holy Spirit in you. When you have the Holy Spirit, all these things will become difficult for you to do. The Bible gives us a key on how to overcome the works of the flesh. It says, if you live in the Spirit, also walk in the Spirit. That is just the solution. So the number one solution I want to talk about before I move on is that you must possess the Spirit of God. That is where you will not be, be possessed by the Spirit of the devil. Praise God. And this Spirit, they are immaterial. They don't have structure. They don't have, they don't have body. They are always looking for a body to possess. They have mission. All the spirits, they have mission. They want to corrupt a man. They want to put a man at long guy with God. They want to turn you to enemy of God. So, what they do is to look for a man that is available to possess. Remember Judas. The Bible says, and Satan entered into Judas because the space was available. So, don't create space for this spirit. You are the one that created this space for them. That's why they came. You invited them, whether intentionally or unintentionally. We will talk about that. So every spirit is out there to influence you. All the spirit, they corrupt your will so that you can do what they want you to do. Hallelujah. God will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. One thing about them that they are conscious. Hmm. Their consciousness is what brings them to you. Their consciousness. Their consciousness. Their alertness, their intelligence, their sensitivity is what brings them to you. Because when they see you are walking in that path, for example, if somebody is addicted to pornography, the day you started, the spirit was washing you. Okay? Then when you do it again, the spirit comes closer. Then when you do it again, the spirit possesses it. And it becomes something, it becomes a stronghold you are unable to conquer. But that stronghold will break by the reason of this word in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the word of God is spirit and life. And when the spirit of God comes, every other spirit bow. As this word is going, it turns to spirit. And it puts away every spirit that has possessed you, that functions in you, that makes you to do those things that are against the will of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. This spirit, they are possessive. They are content looking for a container. If you are available, Judas was a container. 
Saul was a container. They were empty containers. These spirits are always looking for empty containers to possess. Praise the Lord. Some of you, when you give your life to Christ, God gave you deliverance. And you are the Spirit of God. But when you fell back into that same sin, and you refused to repent, you refused to confess, the Holy Spirit left, and this, this Spirit came again in full force. That is why the scripture says, when, the, when an evil spirit leaves a man, it goes, it goes and looks for other places to stay. And when he finds no place to stay, he now decides in his heart, let me go back to where I came from. And if he finds that place empty, he will not possess that person immediately. He will go and bring several other powerful demons to possess that person. But today the Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. You see this spirit, they will never come to a man uninvited. Like the Holy Spirit comes by invitation. When you invite, when you pray for it, the Lord gives it. It's a gift of God. Likewise, these spirits are gift of the devil. They come by invitation. How do they come into a man? How do they possess a man? The first medium of possession is by invitation. It's by invitation. It's, it's either you invite them intentionally. Inviting intentionally is by conjuring, calling of spirits, and performing different rituals. And you can also invite them unintentionally. You don't know, but you, you are the one that called for them. You see, when you pick a stone and you put them in one corner of your room, and you go to that stone every day, you pour oil, you bow. The first day, the second day, the third day, before the end of the seventh day, a spirit will come into that stone and start communicating with you. Because they are always looking for a medium of communication. Likewise, when it comes to addiction, when you do it the first time, you do it the second time, and you keep doing it, it will come to a time that the spirit will start brooding on it. Oh my God. Whether it is light or darkness, a spirit is always brooding on it. The spirit will start helping you, enhancing it. And at that point in time, it becomes difficult for you to break free. But today you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Another way they can come is through vulnerability. When you are weak, you become vulnerable. When you are under pressure, you become vulnerable. When you are going through grief or trauma, you become vulnerable because you lose your defense mechanism. And when this happens, they can easily come and tabernacle on that thing till they finally possess you. I pray the devil will not possess you. In the name of Jesus. And the last one I want to talk about is ancestral connection. When you come from a family where there is a spirit monitoring that, that generation, definitely there is tendency for that spirit to be working against you. Or for you to be functioning by the influence of the spirit. Okay, let me give you this example. There was a time I was having issue with my heart. And I went to the doctor to ask, to know what is actually going on and after doing all the all the things asking questions he asked me is there anybody in my family that has it or is it generational i say it's not generational and this one is not for me he just came and it will go and it's left so if biologically if medically they can be asking that kind of question so you should know it can also play in the spiritual realm so if you are connected to a particular and to a particular spirit in your generation. That spirit can come to influence whatever you are going to do. But today, the Lord will break that stronghold in the name of Jesus. That spirit is a stronghold. That is why you are where you are. That is why your life is not moving forward. That is why you join around the circle. But by the power in the name of Jesus, your deliverance is now. Amen. Now, how do you know it is a spirit? How do you know it is a spirit? One of the ways by which you know that it is a spirit is that they override your will. You no longer have the will of yourself. Jesus said in the Bible, he said, I do not have the will of myself, but the will of my father. Because he has the Holy Spirit in him. Likewise, a man that is, that is under the influence of his spirit will no longer have the will of himself. Sometimes you say, you ask your question, you will regret, you, you feel guilty. You ask yourself, why am I doing this? But you don't seem to have answer. Because anytime this thing comes, you are, you, you, are, you are powerless, you are defenseless. 
It's because there's a spirit behind it. But today you are free in the name of Jesus. Number two, how do you know it is the activity of the spirit? When sin becomes norms, it becomes normal. Things that you used to do, you used to cry. You will go back to God and say, God, I am sorry. But now it's, it has become normal to you. Ah, watch it. There's a spirit behind it. Now, if any addiction has become normal to you, smoking has become normal to you, drinking has become normal to you, pornography has become normal to you, then there's something else. There's something behind it. That thing today, the Lord will deliver you from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Then, when it becomes uncontrollable, oh my God, you do it anywhere. I remember when I was going through my own, I would be at work, I would go to the toilet. Sometimes I would bow my head under my table and be watching it put earpiece on. It becomes un uncontrollable. It is anywhere, anywhere. There's a spirit behind it. You will be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, another thing is that when you begin to see every other person in the same picture as you are, what the spirit will do so that you will not cry for help, so that you will not cry for deliverance, is to paint everybody guilty or everybody sinful and when this happens it means that there's a spirit behind it and lastly when he asks when that spirit forces you to shut your mouth to cry for help any man that is dying we always cry for help any man that is going through something it is the nature of man to always ask for help especially when we are experiencing negative things but now, when negative things start happening to you and you are unable, you are incapacitated to ask for help, then there's a problem. There's a spirit behind this. The Lord will set you free in the name of Jesus. So what do you do to be free? Oh my God. Cry out now. Cry out now. Cry out now. This is the time to cry out. This is the time. Don't shut your mouth. As you are hearing this voice, as you are watching this message, cry out where you are. Go on your knee and cry out to God. Ask for deliverance. Ask for deliverance. Ask for deliverance. The Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. And then, what do you also need to do? You have to go for deliverance. Oh, you need you need to be delivered. You need to be delivered. You need those. You need people that are more matured spiritually to help you out in the place of prayer, in the place of counsel. When they do this, there will be solution. Then, what other thing do you also need to do? Block the trigger. Spirit does not come without invitation. Even when they come, they won't have access until you give them the access. So block the trigger. Those things that make your life attractive to them, block those things. The other thing, seek for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Oh, you need a stronger spirit to bring a strong spirit to subjection. That's what the Bible says. Only tanu koko wali alagba bikin shepo bwe alagba rade. And the way you can put a strong man in bondage is when somebody stronger than it, a force stronger than it, attacks it and brings it into subjection. So you need a stronger spirit to overcome it. And this is when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So that your life will not be vacant. So that your heart will not be empty. So that your life will not be empty. When you do this, I see deliverance coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, deliverance is coming your way. Oh, your deliverance is now from every spirit that is influencing your life negatively, causing you to fall and rise. Your deliverance is now in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Believe the word of God from my mouth. You are delivered. You are set free. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel. And also press the notification button so that you will know when we upload any edifying content for you and also share when you do that the gospel of deliverance will go around the world for the people that need it thank you my name is Israel Adebi Adedayo the Lord bless you see you next week